what's up with it youtube what is what's up with it real og cc gang i know it's been a minute since i've been on youtube which has been a month and probably two and a half weeks maybe y'all where i've been why i've been and whatever else however else y'all want to say it will be in the next vlog I will explain, that's what the next vlog gonna be about, where I been, why it take this long, why I couldn't do this, why I couldn't upload for y'all. I am truly sorry, I did miss y'all. From the bottom of my heart, I do love y'all. The people who actually support me and care about me actually did check up on me. I had my own sister, who not even my blood sister, that act like she is my blood sister since birth. Come to me like, sis, you need to do this. You need to do that. You need to do it right now. Upload, because what you doing, girl? So, I'm sorry, y'all. Then again, I am going to make up for it. I got a lot of videos and content coming for y'all and everything. This, gonna, this is my intro right now, actually. But as you can tell from the title below, I will be doing a cooking vlog with Shelf Ernie Bag CC. Baby, because you know your girl likes to get down in the kitchen with an ice. Baby, I am too icy. Now, let me complain with y'all, but for real though, on the real, I love y'all with my whole heart. Like, without the support that I have from y'all, where would I be? And I know I'm not nowhere right now, but I'm just saying, like, it's only up from here. You feel me? Um, Yeah, I hope all y'all have been good. May God continue to bless all of y'all. And yes, we got a whole lot of bangers coming, a whole lot of vlogs coming. Um, I was gonna do vlogmas this year, but my phone didn't come till till like actually this Saturday. So like maybe next year I'll do vlogmas nine times out of ten. That is a yes. I will be doing vlogmas. And that's on period because I ain't never leaving y'all ever again like that without talking to y'all letting y'all know what's going on okay so I'm sorry from the bottom of my heart for real y'all need to accept this apology because this is this is the most sentimental thing I have ever said to anybody like I'm sorry shit there that's how I feel if I'm sorry I'm sorry this is close as it's gonna go get cause I ain't gonna cry on no YouTube but yeah y'all tune in for this video and hopefully y'all got you guys like what i cooked today well tonight because i did just get off work and y'all need to help me come up with days where i can upload like tell me what day you want me to upload baby or i'm gonna make my own schedule but let me go and drop all these five videos that i got in store for y'all so that's that's what i owe y'all five videos within a week so for y'all i'm pushing myself i love y'all and Tune in to this video, rate my meal, 1 through 10, baby, and don't be lying. Love y'all. Bye. All right, YouTube, what's up? I'm back with the video again. Anywho, I'm cooking chicken wings today, but before you get to cook, you got to um, rinse the chicken off. You don't want no dirty chicken. You don't want to put chicken in a little pan and it ain't clean. But no, you don't use soap. If you use soap, I don't know what you cooking in. It's not getting it. What's supposed to be gay? Period. Shit. Alright. Now look. I'm rinsing out the um, chicken, y'all. You gotta make sure you rinse every... Anyway. Y'all, I'm back. So look. I rinsed my chicken off. That was the first thing that I did. Boo-boo. You need to make sure that you got all the right seasonings. Because you don't want the wrong seasonings. You don't want too much seasoning. You most definitely don't want the wrong season period duh now when it comes to chicken i'm gonna give y'all my ingredients for this one meal okay you're gonna need garlic salt it already got the leaves up in there boo you see the green then you're gonna need already got chopped up onions up in this pan so I ain't even for a lot of y'all. I use this. It's 
spice and herbs, it actually made the chicken real good. I don't know what it did to it, but it made some type of taste. So, I'm going to use a little bit of that. Most definitely, if you eat lemon wings, then you're going to eat lemon chicken wings. Period. And you want like some spice, some hot, but you don't want to add too much though, okay? So... I'm gonna use paprika. This right here is paprika. This all three seasonings you need. Oh, and most definitely, don't look at my armpits. You need olive oil. This right here is most definitely good for you and your hair. But you don't, oh, in your face. And you don't want too much because that's kind of too much oil. You feel me? So I put this at the bottom of the pan and on top of my, my uh, meals that I be making, my fish and my chicken. Everything that I make, I put it on there. A stuff for steak and pork chops and stuff like that. You don't do that. Anywho, so I get, I put the olive oil in this little thing twice. And it should be enough to fill up the pan, basically. And just, your pan should look like this with the little onions in there, okay? Now, what you wanna do is season the bottom of the pan. If you don't season the bottom of your pan, the bottom of your food gonna be dry and it ain't gonna have no flavor. So, then, y'all, I gotta cut right there. So, my hand gonna hurt. You might hear me complaining a little bit. What a, uh, Y'all like my Cuban? A baddie and engaged. Now let me complain, y'all. I ain't engaged yet, but Tink, you better you better engage me, bitch. <laughs> complain. Okay, so next thing you do, you get your chicken since you already season. Let me show y'all, cause y'all might be thinking I'm lying, baby. I know how to put it down up in here. So you get your chicken after you season the bottom of your pan, put the onions and stuff in there. You place it on the pan inside of it, okay? Then the next thing you do, I put this oil on there so it can stick. Like, so like the sauce and stuff, not the sauce, but the seasons can stay on the chicken. That's what you do. That's what I did. I don't know if you do it, but I do it. That's why my food come out better than half y'all's. So, don't question me, boo. Because I'm black and I'm white. But I know what I'm doing because I'm mostly black, boo boo. And it gets real, gets real ugly on this side. If you keep trying to play with me, I know how to cook. Anywho, let me get back to professional, baby. Yo, you don't need too much season, honestly. Because it's going to be salty and nasty. You don't want no nasty, salty chicken. Oh, BTW, you know I didn't put this in there today. I use it another day. So this is how it should look as of right now. Raw. With season, baby. Like a black person made it. And then... You want to get your onions. These right here are the onions that I cut up. Let me go on ahead and put them up in here before I end up crying. Because you know these things strong for real. Y'all, if you don't put water at the bottom of your pan, then you got to look, baby, because what are you doing? You need to, the reason why you put water at the bottom of the pan, y'all, is so it don't stick, okay? I mean, it's going to stick either way it go, but it's not going to be as hard. Your chicken and whatever else you're making, it's not going to be dry, okay? I know what I'm doing. So, this is what it should look like. You got the onions on top. Ain't got much because you don't need too much of everything, okay? And I always get 
this little bowl right here for my water. It doesn't matter whether you put water, I mean, whether you put cold or um, warm water in there, as long as you put water in there, boo-boo. And you don't want too much water though, cause it's, it's gonna mess up the little flow. You feel me? It's gonna be too, too, too much, too much. You need to call. You need to call whatever you be making if you cook, not too much, so it don't be too much. Okay, so it can come out just right. That's what needs to be just right. So. Okay, so the water is in here. Y'all, I don't think y'all gonna be able to see. Hold up. Because I know you're thinking like, what are you doing, girl? Just pick it up. I got y'all. Hold up. Nobody's seen it. Look, this is what it looked like. And then, right now, I got the, um, I already got my squash and stuff cut up. It looks like this. I gotta put pepper on that as well, salt and pepper and butter. Then after that, I'm gonna cook it in the pan. That's just how it go. So, y'all, make sure you preheat your oven on 425, okay? That's all you need, boo boo kitty. And then you leave your chicken or whatever you cooking, well not whatever you cooking, leave your chicken in there for about 45 minutes to an hour okay so i'm gonna get i'm gonna hit y'all back up when the chicken is cooked and done then i'm gonna just go ahead on and show y'all how to cook the squash right now anyway y'all y'all get a piece of foil because you don't want the grease the juice from the chicken the water and none of that stuff to pop up while you cooking while it's in the stove in the oven you feel me so yeah then again Y'all still leave it in there, 45 minutes to an hour. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna show y'all how to cook the squash. And then, my team texted me, y'all. And then, I'm gonna show y'all what the chicken come out and look like, okay? Within the hour. Okay, y'all. Now, this is the pan we use to cook chili you know what i was cooking y'all last time and like all that other delicious stuff this right here is the squash this is already rinsed off this is already rinsed off but i'm gonna rinse it off for y'all on the camera so y'all can make sure that y'all take these notes cut that off so y'all can take these notes and take them serious I'm a um you oh you always put olive oil in here with these too because they good for you. I'm telling you. Watch, you're gonna see your hair grow tremendously, your face grow tremendously, and everything, boo boo kitty. Anywho, anywho, yeah, I'm gonna cook these squash for y'all. And So let me show y'all what to do. You get the squash, it's already in this pan. You rinse it off, you add your salt and your pepper. this off because this water on there does I don't want it to stain or nothing me I like to add a little tiny bit of water just so it don't get stuck to the pan because you don't want that
That's the new one. This right here. Y'all, I really be throwing it down in the kitchen. This the pepper. This the salt. Okay? So, you pour pepper up in here. And again, you don't want too much. You want to eat, like, kind of good. So, you know, baked chicken is better than, like, fried anything. So... And you most definitely don't want too much salt because you already, salt already going to be in the food. So you really don't want too much. You feel me? But anyway, I'm going to let this squash cook. And it's on medium. I'm going to let it cook for about 35 minutes. I'm going to keep mixing it up and stuff. Then I'm going to hit y'all back up when the chicken and the squash is done. What's up with the gang? As y'all can tell, your girl tired as hell. I mean, sorry YouTube. Your girl tired and mud for real. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take pictures of what my food look like. And then I'm going to just put it in this video. So I'm not going to take a video of the food. I'm going to just take pictures and upload it. Um, I'm a, After I get done with this video, actually, I'm going to get in the shower and then go to bed. Well, I'm going to get a shower. I'm going to upload this video. I'm going to eat, upload this video, get in the shower, go to bed. Friday come, I will be doing the girl talk because y'all did leave um some comments on the thing. So, it will be girl talk with just myself and I. Um, I know this video, I ain't talk much. I ain't had no story to tell y'all. Y'all, I really just been in my bag and was so focused on getting this phone that I'm recording on right now. And yeah, but lately I just been getting myself together. So I wasn't even worried about no relationship or nothing like that because I can't do it. Anyway, yeah, I just, I really just been having success on my mind and money. And I was just stressing over that and stuff. But that's gonna, I'm gonna get into that in another video. I just hope y'all like this video. And if you is new to my channel, like, comment, and subscribe. And please do not forget, Boo Boo Kitty, to share my stuff. Like, if you not sharing my stuff with your friends and your family and your cousins and your uncles and your brothers, what is you doing? Hmm? Where the love at for real? Hmm? Because I love all race, baby. Period. Y'all, I love all race. Most of my followers is the opposite of my race, honestly. Cause people my color, they be hating sometimes. Like I ain't even for a lot of y'all, they be hating. It don't even be people my color, it just be people in Dallas. I mean it just be people where I'm from. They be hating, but I ain't even tripping out that G because it's a billion people up in the world and half of them people gonna support me. So anyway, I just want y'all, I just hope y'all had a blessed day. I hope tomorrow y'all have a good day. And I hope y'all ain't worried about nothing but your money. That's it. That's all you need to have your focus on anyway, boo boo. Your money and your school. And I just I just wish the best for everybody, honestly. Cause if you're not wishing the best for somebody, what you think you're gonna get in return? The worst. Exactly. But yeah, one day I'm gonna have like a positive video uploading. Speaking nothing but positive and motivation. So yeah, but I love y'all. And I will be taking pictures of my food and what it look like in my videos, okay? And I hope y'all like this video. And y'all do got girl talk coming soon. We gonna have boy talk soon, cause y'all know I'm kinda hood. I'm kinda like a the nigga side, most of it. Most of the time, that's who I get along with anyway, boys. Anyway, I see y'all later, gang. And I hope y'all like this video. And I love y'all, and we out.